Recognize Umbra Walker D01. Recognize the Caleb G D02. Hello, team. Welcome to the cave. Time for an Intel update. I am everyone's favorite sidekick, Caleb. And as always, we have Rich, barely recovering from injury, going to make me edit coughing and wheezing out of the audio. Howard. (laughs) That would be me. Just call me infectious lad. (laughs) So we are taking a minute here to do an Intel update. Uh, As you all know, we record the regular episodes so far in advance. We can't always incorporate real-time events. So that's what these bonus little Intel updates are for. We're going to take a quick beat let you know what's happening, and then get back to the regular programming. We are recording this in real time on Friday the 17th of February. It is the day that Disordered has dropped as our regular episode. And, you know, we had a couple people point out some errors. So we wanted to just say, yep, we screwed up a little bit. Sorry, guys. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, And I think someone also pointed out that Uh, I made the comment that we don't really see Brainiac, and Brainiac shows up in the comics. That's on me, because Rich Rich pointed that out, too, and I forgot to edit that into the episode. So, yeah, that one's on me, guys. The other one's on Rich. We'll blame Rich for that one. The other other one's on on me. I said that uh, Batman was talking to Red Tornado at the beginning of the episode about the kids. He was actually talking to Martian Manhunter, but I suspect I may have already been sick at the time that we were recording. So I'm going to claim that because it's been like six freaking weeks. Yeah. Uh, so Red Tornado was in the scene, as was Captain Marvel. Uh, they just didn't yes. say anything. Right, exactly. So on to a couple quick announcements here. First off, we do have a little tiny glimmer of news about season three. Oh, wait, why did I take this one? I'm going to say these names wrong. Uh, Carrie Payton, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got it right. So, Kerry Payton officially announced that he is back on the team. And in addition, Jason Spizak tweeted something maybe implying that he's going to be back for season three. He voiced Wally and he also voiced Monkey. So, maybe we're going to throw some monkeys at Darkseid. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Maybe he's not back as Wally at all. He's just playing Monkey again. It's possible. That would be fine, too. We just we just have Connor hating a monkey for an entire season. <laughs> right. <laughs> poor, poor Connor. Uh, I'm going to hear Darkseid say, uh, I hate monkeys. Oh, That's all I really oh. want. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> be still my heart. Uh, but we do have some It'd announcements for Whelmed itself, and we're going to let Rich take care of those. Yeah, yeah. Our big announcement this week, some of you are already aware of this because we did a bit of a a soft launch of this already, but we have started a Patreon campaign for Whelmed. For those of you who don't know what Patreon is, it's a a crowdfunding website that allows fans to back uh, creators and artists from a wide range of content. So um, actual artists like drawing artists, podcasters, writers, game designers, pretty much anything and everyone who has a creative project can have a Patreon campaign. I have a Patreon account for those who support me through role-playing game design, and Caleb's other podcast, the RPG Academy, has one as well. So how Patreon works is you can set yourself up to donate a few dollars a month to your favorite artists. So when a bunch of people get together, it can mean a lot of help to a project, particularly a podcast like ours. Whelmed, Whelmed will always be free to everyone who has a podcatcher, but having said that, each episode takes about four to eight hours of outlining, recording, editing. Um, And as we're currently airing a review episode and a bonus episode every week, that's a lot of time for those of us, since we both have day jobs and families. And in the case of both Caleb and the wonderful Neil, who is now volunteering his time with us, they have whole other podcast networks to do work on as well. But we do want to do a lot more. And you've heard us mention some of these things. In addition to helping us pay for backup editing, For the original music we got, the special effects, the updated recording equipment, we want to bring you more material. So we want to do Young Justice and DC Animated Universe-inspired actual play role-playing game podcasts, um, guest starring both like gaming and animation industry professionals, more Secret Origin episodes, including uh, Caleb is uh, talking about doing the villains for us, which would be fantastic. Uh, For the Secret Origins, we want to do more in-depth reviews of things like the comics and other DC Animated Universe movies and such, and even more. We'll have a link in the show notes to the Patreon campaign, and you can take a look at the details. But in exchange for helping us bring more to the show for everyone, 
uh, different backer levels will receive special rewards, including access to what we're calling the Whelmed Article Archive, uh, a chance to play in a quarterly role-playing game session run by Caleb and or myself, and a lot more. So even right now, so the team, each of the backer levels all have different team names. So the team gamma level backers and higher already have access to all of our outlines for our Secret Origin episodes and our review episodes that we've released so far. But those level backers will also have access to the outlines for the following week's episode before everybody else. In addition, for those of you who game anyway, our uh, now friend of the show and listener uh, Theron Bretz, sorry, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, has shared with us a 40-page PDF adventure that he created for the Mutants and Masterminds system that's also used for the DC animated or DC Universe role-playing game system that includes character write-ups for Superboy and Blue Beetle, Wonder Girl, Star Girl, a bunch more. It's a great, great adventure in 40 pages. And you can get a copy of that as well. If you can't back us monetarily, we completely understand. Telling a friend about the show is amazing. Leaving ratings and reviews on your podcatcher of choice helps us get out to other people. And you guys have been amazing with sharing posts on social media. Just never forget that we appreciate every one of those things and all of you who have backed us and uh, supported us and talked to us on social media. We love it. Thank you so much. But if you can, go over and check out the Patreon and and see if you uh, can help and... Maybe get some extra things for yourself. And speaking of those ratings and reviews from the podcast, we're going to take a second and read through some of them because it's a fun thing to do. And of course, we're really excited about them. Yeah, absolutely. And as you all know, as you all have heard on every single podcast that says anything like this, the more ratings and reviews we get, the easier it is for other people to find us because somehow you saying you liked a thing moves us up in the metric of where we appear on search functions because iTunes doesn't make any sense. Right. If you, uh, even if you don't want to write a full review, you can just click on the five star button and done. It takes, takes less than a second to do and is a huge help to us. So we really appreciate it. Yeah. So let's go ahead and read through some of these here. We're going to start with some international readers or listeners. We're going to read some international things. Rich, you are infecting me with with your (laughs) wordiness. I don't know what's happening over here. Um, uh, We're going to start with a couple reviews from Canada. Uh, This one is titled Overwhelmingly Good. That wry Canadian humor. Uh, This one is written by TGG Anderson. And TGG Anderson writes, only three episodes out, and each time these two make me want to rewatch all of Young Justice in one sitting. Their love of the show is palpable, informative, and downright enjoyable to listen to. The first Secret Origins episode about Robin is a must-hear love letter to Dick Grayson, and will make you an instant fan of this podcast. Hashtag keep binging YJ. Thank you. That's awesome. TGG Anderson. Thank you so much. From Canada. I know. Thank you so much, man. Uh, The second one from Canada is Definitely Feeling the Aster by Zeldcraft, an incredibly detailed and articulate podcast, as we're proving is incorrect during this Intel update. Um, The YJ Files shows the true passion of the Young Justice fan base and is a perfect listen for anyone who loves DC Comics. Thank you, Zeldcraft. And jumping around the planet to Australia. Yeah. Friend of the show, actually, Blake Ryan Batman here, uh, Blake Ryan 74. Oh, hey, thanks, Blake. Uh, This review is titled Entertaining Review of Young Justice Show. And as a little side note, I will love our listeners by not trying to do a horrible accent. That's how much I care about you guys. Uh, Blake writes, well-produced podcast about Young Justice DC Comics Teenage Hero Series. These guys are true fans of the comics and the series. They throw around viewpoints on the characters and the situations for each episode. The Secret Origins episodes go into great detail about the different versions of each characters over the years. If you haven't seen the show, watch Young Justice. If you have, check out this podcast and enjoy the depth of discussion about the various elements of the show. Thank you, Blake. That's amazing. Uh, Our next one is from uh, Ireland, and it's from Kil... I'm not going to pronounce this right. Kilua Dev. Um, This listener because I'm not going to try and hack it again, uh, interacts with us a ton on uh, on uh, Twitter, and I really appreciate it. Uh, amazing podcast, great devotion. 
Caleb and Rich put so much effort into this, and it really shows. They both clearly love this show so much. Good job, guys. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. It is so cool to hear that we have international listeners. I know the internet is making this planet a whole lot smaller, but it's still weird thinking about all these different countries and people hearing what we're doing. So that's really cool, and we definitely appreciate that. Uh, But let's bring it back around to the good old US of A. Uh, We've got one here titled Awesome by Bookworm of a 12-Year-Old. Nice. Okie dokie. This is literally the best podcast ever. Maybe figuratively, but we'll go with literally. (laughs) Young Justice is my all-time favorite show, so it's cool to hear people so enthusiastic about it as me. Please continue. Thanks, Bookworm. I think it's literally the best. (laughs) I mean, we could go into that bit, but that's another cartoon, and we don't have time to do that. So uh, let's just keep going. The, The next one is asterisk. To say to say the least, um, by uh, B. Schwartz. It says Schwartz. I thought it was Schwartz, but there's no R. Schwartz. Caleb and Rich offer great insight as well as deep knowledge and love of Young Justice. This podcast is interesting, entertaining, and incredibly compelling. Let me describe my week since I discovered this podcast. Wednesday, wake up, put up, wake up, put headphones in, start listening to the new discussion Secret Origin episode. Thursday, watch the episode Rich and Caleb will review, be reviewing then tomorrow. Friday, wake up, put headphones in, start listening to the new review episode. Saturday, rewatch the episode that was just reviewed, now with new perspective. Sunday, hashtag keep binging YJ. Monday, re-listen to the discussion Secret Origin episode. Tuesday, re-listen to the review episode, rinse and repeat. If you like Young Justice, you will love this podcast. A great way to get more YJ content. Man, that's amazing. I'm. That's a lot of extra rewatching. That's fantastic. Thanks, man. And moving on, we have one from Cold Jeans, which, you know what? Now that I have a dryer in my house, I've learned that warm jeans are amazing. So, Cold Jeans, we might have to have a chit-chat about your choice of screen name. (laughs) Uh, But Cold Jeans writes, I love this podcast so much. Love learning about all the little things I missed when watching YJ. Such a fun podcast. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad you enjoy it, even though you're wearing cold pants for no reason. (laughs) <laughs> I know that sounds that it's sounds ridiculous. tough. Get a dryer. Yeah, I hope you find a dryer. <laughs> Our next one is exceptional from Geek Dad Twenty Four. This is amazing. I've listened to several amateur comic based podcasts, and they sound just that amateur. This, however, is very different. These guys are true fanboys. They love the series and it shows. Each episode is chock full of very detailed episode summaries, well researched trivia, high produ- high production value and spoilers and foreshadowing that the average fan may have missed. If you're a fan of YJ, you'll love this. If you're new to the fandom, this is the perfect hopping on point. Go to Netflix, watch an episode, then come here and listen to the review. These guys are funny, interesting, and creative. More than worth your time. Once again, guys, amazing job. Thank you so much, man. That's fantastic. I am also a geek dad, so I am also happy to have that going on. And our last new review to read here is from TBG Boss. And this boss titles this review, Great Podcast. A must listen for any fan of Young Justice, casual or hardcore. These guys know what they're talking about and have a passion for it. We're Thank pretty much about our passion, so yeah. Yeah, and uh, peek behind the curtain, Rich is the one that knows everything. I'm just along for the ride. That's t- it's totally not true. It's not true. So thank you all very much. We really, truly appreciate your kind words. Guys, putting a podcast on is a heck of a lot of work. And hearing you guys say that you listen to it, let alone enjoy it, right. means a lot. It really, really does. Uh, the life It of, really does. The life of a podcaster can be very lonely sitting in front of the computer for hours editing audio. So... Knowing it's giving people yeah. enjoyment is is really cool. Yeah, thanks. And for all of all of our fans who are listening uh, and and interacting with us on social media as well, we can't thank you enough. It's it's fantastic. Thank you so much. We should also take a second here to thank our patrons since we now have patrons. Uh, this was not, oh yes, this was not on the outline. Rich, if you want to take a second and pull up that list of names, absolutely. I will absolutely do that. Um, again, I, I get to blame illness for pretty much everything. Uh, while so we have several. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna. I was gonna fill. I was gonna do some filler while you're pulling that up. I was gonna cover. Oh, I got it. Oh, you got it already. I no it. filler. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna talk about how I bought 
Justice League Dark and watched it, and I really liked it. But I won't talk about that now. Actually, I yeah, we should talk about that. I watched it too. It was actually really good. I'm I'm pretty happy with it actually. I uh, it was pretty cool cool takes. Yeah. Interesting take on um, Black Orchid mm-hmm. and uh, the House of Mystery. And yeah, it was really good. Don't I watch that, loved guys. the intro. The intro was so terrible and horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and I oh yeah, they don't pull punches for sure. It's it's a uh, it's it's rough. Yeah. Like, don't watch it with your three year old. No. Uh, this this was actually an, an R rated. DC animated only the second one uh the other one being the killing joke i believe yeah probably uh it, yeah. it was all right so the, it, go ahead the, <laughs> i was gonna say it is also whoa, whoa. great hearing the voice of constantine from the television show back in the role matt ryan is amazing as constantine i thought he was i thought he was great as constantine yes. i thought he really echoes back to the 1990s when i first started reading um hellblazer back in the day i thought i think he's fantastic i think some people i've seen online of course somebody's gonna have an issue with him but i thought he did a fantastic job the, so the well done, constantine man. television show was i think one of the absolutely best comic book media productions ever made uh, yeah, I, yeah, they did a good job. It started off a little slow. They had, uh, I think, they changed casting for the main like yeah. support cast character and some things at the beginning. So it took a few episodes to kind of, kind of get some inertia going. But man, it it hit its stride, and I really wanted to see more. So yeah. definitely prematurely he, canceled. He did show up on the Arrow show for a hot second on Arrow. in one episode. I yeah. didn't like that, which was pretty cool. As much oh, it was you did It was so great to see him, but it wasn't a really good episode. And as much as I mm. love Arrow, that show swings for the fences sometimes and doesn't get there. And I think I think they really wanted to include Constantine and Matt Ryan as much as possible. So they really bent to making him a huge part of it. And oh, I see what you're saying. It didn't work out as well. But speaking back of Justice League Dark, uh, Richie, the character in the cartoon, oh yeah, was actually voiced by the same actor who was Richie from the Constantine TV show. So oh, they really? brought back Richie that. and Constantine for for this animated movie. So that was just That's a fun fantastic. little nod. Uh, Zatanna showed up. I like that version of Zatanna, but I really wish it would have been the voice actress from Young Justice because she is, yeah. I think, a better version. I wasn't version. big on that weird white. I, I didn't like her costume as much, but it's, I liked her it's character. It's straight from okay. the comics. It is straight from the Justice League comics, the Justice yeah. League Dark series. Um, I also oh, I couldn't see. help but notice that some of her backward spells were actually backward masked audio. They looped it backwards instead of saying uh, them phonetically backwards. It went back and forth. So it sounds interesting. So much better. But yeah, uh, but yeah, we do right, need cool. to get back to our patrons. So, Rich, if you have that list up, let's show some love on the people that are throwing us a little bit of cash. Yeah, absolutely, man. So um, our uh, our team Delta. Which is the which is the two dollar a month backers uh, include Jacob Blackman. If you don't know Jacob Blackman, Jacob Blackman is kind of a cornerstone artist in the third party publishing RPG industry. Jacob is fantastic and does a lot of work for um, support products for like Ma- mutants and masterminds and that kind of thing. Um, definitely honored to have him as a backer. Our friend Neil, of course, who is uh, who is now doing some free editing for us. Thank you, Neil, for keeping us on track with all of our episodes. Um, he's been responsible for the last few Secret Origins and Discussions episodes, so we really appreciate that. Friend of the show, Darcy Ross, of course. Thank you, Darcy. Our show wouldn't be here without you. Um, Peter, who also known as, you've heard me mention, Scarlet Catnip, thank you so much, who has been great in pointing us in the direction of some fantastic fan service. Richard Crutes Landry, who's a co-San Diegan here, who I haven't met in person yet, but we've been chatting a lot online. Joshua Phillips, another listener who's interacted with us a bit on Twitter. Thank you so much. Troy Pitchelman, who is fantastic. We love Troy. Troy is the co-host of the Cypher Speak podcast, uh, which is from the uh, podcast talking about the Cypher system from Monty Cook Games. Troy is a, an amazing human being, and we're so proud to have him as a backer. And David Renard, also someone who's interacted with us a bit on social media. Thank you so much for your backers, uh, for your backer uh, support. And then we have two individuals who are backing us at the Team Gamma level. And the Team Gamma level backers are Ryan Bass, 
who has also been interacting with us a ton on social media. We just love that. I love that interaction online. Thank you, guys. You make the community better and better. And uh, Michael Ross, uh, Caleb's co-host from the RPG Academy, is also supporting us at that level as well. And those guys have access to all of our outlines for all the episodes we've done so far, and they've got access to that PDF that I just posted for that Mutants and Masterminds adventure. So enjoy those guys, and thank you so much. As always, thank you to everyone who is listening. We would not be doing this if it were not for you. And that is going to wrap up our Intel update. We will see you in our regularly scheduled team briefings. Stay whelmed, everyone. See you later, Armadillos. I knew you were going to do that. (laughs) You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our computer is voiced by Madison Ray. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed.